Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum. I've got my sidekick with me, Carlito. Hey guys. <laughs> Today we are making our version of German style cabbage rolls. Mm. Yum, yum yum. Yum yum. And this episode starts right, right now. now. So as we mentioned today on today's episode of Fresh Stove Top Yum Yum, we're making German style cabbage rolls, our version of it, right? Yes. Our version of it. Uh, we have the ingredients behind me. Let's go check them out. Okay, guys, here are the ingredients for our German style cabbage rolls, our version of it. We have some cabbage leaves, which I have blanched in boiling water. As soon as I finish showing you the ingredients, I'll show you how I blanch them. We have an envelope of ground gravy, excuse me, brown gravy mix. I have a nice heaping tablespoon, two tablespoons of fresh flat leaf parsley, one and a quarter tablespoons of salt. I have one and a quarter tablespoons of beef bouillon powder. I have two teaspoons of nutmeg. And one and a quarter tablespoon, excuse me, teaspoons of black pepper. We're also going to use today a pound of ground pork. Yum, yum. And I've got some white, beautiful white jasmine rice in the pressure cooker that I'm going to put, add to the mix to stuff our cabbage rolls. I have four cups of beef bouillon, beef stock, for our gravy once we're done. We also have... A whole entire onion yellow onion so now let's head over and let me show you how I blanched this cabbage and carefully took the leaves off once we do that I'll meet you at the stove and let's get cooking this is how I boiled the cabbage briefly in order to take the leaves off so it wouldn't break the first thing you do is cut the back and I have some more here that I need to boil for a few minutes, probably two or three minutes. It'll soften it up to take the leaves out so they don't break. Okay guys, we are back and we are at the stove. We are going to sweat our onions. We're gonna add our ingredients. First, we're gonna add about a, maybe a tablespoon and a half of some VO juice. We've got our VO juice right here, vegetable oil. Okay guys, we are going to add our Tablespoon and a half of VO juice. Perfect. Carlito's going to stir that up. Go ahead, Carlito, stir that up. We are going to add our salt because we never sweat our onions without salt. Your onions will not sweat if you don't use salt. We're going to add our pepper. Make sure you stir it all together because we don't want the powder spices in the middle. We want to put the powder spices on our vegetable. Now we're going to add our nutmeg and our beef bouillon powder. Stir that up nice. And we're only going to add, we're going to add our pork. Now we're going to add our pork. Let's sweat our onions a little bit more. Try to sweat it, try to get it all the way around. Now we are going to add our pork. Go ahead and put that down, Carlito. Break it down. It's smelling good. Isn't it yeah. smelling so good already? Okay, guys. So when I when we come back, our meat's gonna be browned and cooked. We're gonna add some rice to the mix. We're gonna let it cool. So stay with us, you guys. You don't want to miss it. We will be right back. See ya. We took a quarter of the mixture and I put it in the freezer. We are gonna add, which I forgot to I forgot to mention. We're gonna add three eggs. The reason why I froze a quarter of it is because we're going to use a technique called tempering the eggs. So we're going to take egg number two and we're going to pour it in there. You can stir that. Let's stir it. you got to try to stir it a little bit quick so it doesn't scramble. There you go. Good job. He's learning. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to drop it on there, Carlito, real quick. Since it's really a lot, I'm going to mix it really quick with our wooden spoon. Here, you can put this in the sink, please. Yes. 
Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so now that you can see our cutting boards, we're going to start assembling, okay? I changed my mind because I thought I had twine and I don't tie them up, so we can go ahead and do this here. All right, so we've got that. The back of my ice cream scoop, and I'm going to mash this down a little bit. The, the hard part, we're going to mash it down a tiny bit, and that will make it a lot easier to roll. Okay, so there's one for you, Carlito, my meat. We need to bind this. Now we're going to put it in here, and we are going to roll it like if we were making a burrito. We're going to roll this way, this way, and then we're going to roll this way. And we're going to set it in our pan right there. Okay? So now we're gonna, I want you to grab some, Carlito, with your hands and make like a little egg, like a little taco. With this? Yes. Here? Yes. So, like, grab with a spoon. Oh. Grab some with a spoon and put yeah. it in your hand. Okay? And we're going to make it like, a, like, like that. Like? Like that. Let like me that? see. Let me see. We can use a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Exactly. You make it like a little, like an egg, like a long egg. Make sure. Put it sideways. No. No. Like this? No. You're going to put it like this. Oh, like this? Because remember, yes. Put it like that. Okay. Now we, we got to keep it. We got to keep it together. The egg will keep it together. And now we have to roll like this. You roll it up and then you start tucking in like if you were making a burrito or an egg roll. Okay. See this? <laughs> Check that out. That looks delicious. That's beautiful. So you guys, when we come back, we're going to have all our rolls done. I'm going to make the gravy to put over it. We're going to put it in the oven. And you guys, you don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. And as you can see, my sidekick took off. <laughs> Typical 12-year-old. He wanted to go play his games. And that's okay. It happens. So now I have two tablespoons of butter browning in my pan. What I did was... The four cups, you get, take four cups of hot water and one tablespoon of the beef bouillon powder, whisk it in, and then I added my packet of brown gravy mix. A roux is a thickening agent. See, and that's what it starts to look like, like a little paste. The typical, it starts with a typical roux, which is a thickening agent. All right, so now I'm gonna start pouring in this slowly. You can smell when the flour starts cooking away. So we're gonna remove it from the heat and pour this slowly. It's gonna steam up really, 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 really. Ooh. And this is gonna thicken our beautiful brown gravy. I'll show you. So I'm gonna put it back on the heat. And we're gonna get all the stuff from the bottom, all the goodness, look how thick that is. And we're gonna keep pouring it in. I mean, it thickens it automatically. I'll show you. Wow. So, I have my soup ladle, and we're going to ladle some over our cabbage rolls to put in the oven. Oh my god. You guys, this smells, and it's, oh my god, this gravy is so good. So, I'm going to lightly put it on like that. You don't want to miss this, you guys. I'll be right back. This is yum, yum. Guys, I'm back, and I'm so excited. It smells so delicious in here. If you guys like cabbage, you need to try this. Like I said, it's my version of German, let me turn the oven off. It's my version of German style cabbage rolls, you guys. Oh my God, this is so delicious. Look at how beautiful this is. Thumbnail. <laughs> now note, you'll notice one's greener. Always remember the outside leaves of your cabbage when you're blanching it, the outside leaves are darker than the inside. They start getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And now this watering, of course, I have a little sample one here. I'm gonna cut it and show you what it looks like in the middle. Look at the inside of that. Look at all the rice with the pork and that gravy is so delicious. And now I'm gonna try a piece, it's hot. Worry, I hope it doesn't burn me. This is hot. Okay, here goes. I'm not kidding, it's really hot. Oops. 
scared. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna try it again just to be sure. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna try to put this whole bite in my mouth. That's crazy. I'm gonna try though. See if I can do it. <laughs> I love this. Oh my god, this is hot. And that gravy. Please, God, I can't. I can't. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know about you guys, but my family loves cabbage. We love it. Oh my god, boiled, raw. I don't care how you. I love it. So remember, you guys. My sidekick took off, but that's okay. That's typical kids. But he loves learning in the kitchen, and he helped me, and it was great bonding time. So cooking with your kids in the kitchen, I always say, is a great thing, and it's fun. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. If not, feel free to subscribe, but don't forget the notification bell. That'll notify you every time I have a new video. And as always, you guys, au revoir. I love you. Los quiero. And until the next great episode of Stovetop Yum Yum, I will be back with or without my sidekick. And we or I will see you then. Take good care. Bye.